So before the season gets started, one thing that I want to do is finish tuning up my lawnmower. Um, a couple months ago in the fall, when I finished up last season, I made sure to have my blades sharpened up, cleaned up, ready to go. I got that all done. Um, I'll link to a video for that. And now what I want to do before I take the mower out for the first time in a month or so is to have it tuned up and ready to go. So I'm going to replace the oil, I'm going to replace the spark plug, and I'm going to replace the air filter and should be ready to go after that. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is change the oil. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that you do it in a way so that you're not making a huge mess everywhere. And the thing that I dislike about lawnmowers, um, this one and others that I've, that I've been looking at too, is there's no drain plug on these things. You've gotta tip them over or pump the oil out. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tip the oil out. It comes out just here out of this cap and I'm gonna drain it into this um, drain pan here. So I've got cardboard out um, to avoid spills, towels ready to go, and we should hopefully be able to line this up nice and get a nice clean pour and get all of the old oil out. So before I get started with, the, with uh, draining the oil out here, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this handle as upright as possible. Um, it has different positions you can lock it into. And I think you can get it to lock upright for storage purposes. So we'll go ahead and do that. That way that when we tip it over, it will have something to fall back and lean on when we drain the oil out. So unfortunately there's not a way to lock this upright so I'm using the tension on the, the pull string to hold it up and then hopefully that will help me guide it down and give me something to lean on when it's tipped over and while I'm draining. If not then we'll figure out something else. Okay, that's draining now. And one thing I forgot to mention is before you do this, make sure that you do this on an empty fuel tank too. You wanna make sure that fuel tank is empty. Um, probably why this is another good reason to do this in um, the late winter, or early spring before the season starts, because in the fall, what I do is I, I run this dry. I run it out um, until it quits. So it's empty, um, it's good to go for this project here. So empty gas tank, and then you can drain the oil here. So we'll let that finish dripping. It's still, it's still going. So we'll let that finish out in a few minutes and then we'll tip her back over and fill her up. Okay, to make adding oil easier, we'll just use a funnel here uh, that just fits right inside. And then we'll go ahead and add our new oil. So I'm pretty sure that this holds about 18 ounces of oil. Um, this is an 18 ounce bottle here, so we'll go ahead and fill it up. Um, we'll put most of it in there and then we'll check just to make sure 
Um, I don't have the manual anymore, unfortunately, and it's, I couldn't find it online. And this is a discontinued mower anyway, so it's hard to find stuff. So um, one thing that I'll be sure to do is to write down how much I put in to get it full when I'm done, just in case for future reference. Okay, that looks good. So we'll go ahead and move on to the air filter and the spark plug now. Okay, air filter is simple enough. It's just housed right here on the front and side of the, the engine. So we'll just pop this off here. And uh, this one I actually put in not too long ago. It's still really clean, except for the oil leak on the bottom there. Um, it's still in pretty good shape. So. I, I can either keep it in there or or just put a new one in. I have a brand new one here. You can see that there's really not much difference other than that oil leak there. Still in pretty good shape. Um, still has some life to it. Just knock it out a little bit. Um, I'm probably gonna keep this in there to be honest and then replace this one um, probably next year. So yeah, always good to check and make sure um, just to be on the safe side. If, now, if this were just clogged with a whole bunch of debris and things like that, or covered in, in oil for whatever reason, or, or gas spill, um, then we would, of course, replace it. So we'll go ahead and pop that back in there, and that'll be good to go. So the spark plug's just right here. It's easy enough. Um, you just need to use a ratchet. It, this one is a 5 8 uh, size here and we'll just pull it out and replace it with the new one. Okay, here's the old spark plug. Uh, it's pretty dirty. Um, it's definitely been, been through the paces. I've had this same spark plug in since I bought the mower. I haven't ever changed it, to be honest. So it's about time. So here's the new one, nice and clean, ready to go. We'll just throw that in and uh, should be good. Okay, that's all done now. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I know every lawnmower is a little bit different, but um, I think the important thing really is to understand that uh, maintaining your equipment will make it last longer and perform better. So again, to review, we, we do this once a year. I sharpen my blades in the fall. Um, I have two sets of blades, so about halfway through the season, I'll switch them out. And then at the end of the season, I'll sharpen both of them and uh, replace them. And then right before spring, um, I'll go through this process here of changing the oil, um, the spark plug, and um, checking the air filter, replacing that if necessary as well. Um, so we'll look forward to that, using that come spring and uh, getting back outside. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video.